Welcome back, everybody, to new movies, Worst, Worst people. people. I'm Derek. I'm Whitney. I'm Jack. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I don't know. This week, this month, I don't... This, other, this, every, this every other week. This episode. This episode. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm That's so used to for. saying this week. I know. Because we do another show, you guys. It's on the uh, podcast places, and it's called Bad Movies, Worst People, and that's every week. So and find you don't that. have to look at us. And you don't have to look at you us. You just need to listen to Jack's sultry voice. Oh, it's raspy, he, apparently. He sings to people a lot. That's what I hear. He does. I love the singing. <laughs> no, in that latest episode, I was like, God, Jack really has a voice for this. Oh, shut it. <laughs> when people compliment me, it feels like I took a shit you and didn't wipe. You were terrible. Wipe. Thank you. <laughs> so it gets itchy? Yeah, until I feel sticky. <laughs> Our cameraman just booed us. I know. That's a first. I'm not used to having somebody else here. I didn't know there was like just live reaction. <laughs> this is why we don't do live shows. I don't think I'm mentally cut out for this man. <laughs> Agreed. That will be all of the that'll be all of the reactions if we do a live show. Just boo. Get the fuck off the stage. Uh, all joking aside, I'm feed I feed off your boos. I am powered by them. So Please hate me. Whatever you venue what? we're at, it'll just end with "Bring on the strippers." <laughs> Do you know what does not deserve a boo? This movie. This Fucking movie. Bottoms. Bottoms. Holy I got a lot shit. to say about this movie. Yes. Surprisingly, it was actually, it was a very good movie. I watched the trailer and I thought we should do it for this because I was like, it looks weird. I thought it looked stupid. I thought yeah. it looked. I thought it looked dumb. I went in there <laughs> with. I went in with hate in my heart. <laughs> and you left you know? with... And I left with a little less hate in my heart. <laughs> like some. I, but. I, won, I forgot that we were actually going to do this movie. Um, when we were sitting waiting for you at the theater, I, was, I saw the poster for Bottoms. I was like, oh yeah, I really want to see that. And then we go and I was like, gonna. what are we watching? You're gonna. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, everybody at the theater was asking us what we were watching. I've never run into that. And they were like, she's like, uh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he slow dragged day, me to. Slow day at the theater, man. What are you watching? <laughs> Whatever he chose. So, Bottoms, directed by Emma Seligman, yeah. I believe. If yeah. I'm saying and, things and correctly. Written. written by her and uh, Rachel Sanat, who was who also, I'm probably saying wrong. Who She's was also one of the leads. JP. Yeah, uh, PJ. 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 Yes. God, why do we keep saying JP? <laughs> no, we don't. I do. You, you do. <laughs> we are I, saying PJ fine. I said singular myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, we have her as PJ, and then <laughs> you go ahead and pronounce it for me. The uh, Ayo. Ayo. At a, be- at a beanie? At a- well, let me, let me see what it looks like. Eat a berry? At a berry. A- I was saying at a berry. I don't know. The internet told us something different. Who knows? Yeah. I don't. I just feel like an a asshole. A debery. That's how they were saying. A debery. That's how the internet They were putting the inflection on the second. Ayo a debery. Ayo it's probably debery. correct. If we're mispronouncing, we I are say very, a, very sorry. I say at a berry because I'm hungry all the time. And I'm thinking of berry tacos. <laughs> but as way, it should be. She's a phenomenal actress. She's in the show The Bear. So I, I got to cut you there. I do not like her in the bear. No, nope. Her, her character, her character just well, her character, her character, so God. much. Like, and I just, I don't think that she brings as much to the bear for me as you guys are getting out of it. And maybe that's part of the reason I thought I was going to be mad at this movie. Okay. And then, dude, in my face, I'll eat crow. Yeah. She was fucking awesome because yeah. she's a great she was, actress. She was fucking awesome. So in the See, bear, I, she's meant to be that one, that that type. Yeah. That's like, hey, you're fucking around. Help me with this. This is our dream right here. And you're fucking around doing your own thing. It's Help not me how make I this read happen. it, but I can, I can see that. That you know, if I don't like her, she's doing her job well. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's kind of it. It's because the character is annoying. Every time she's on camera, I'm upset. Yeah, <laughs> but it's because she's good at it. Exactly. I also do like that she's uh, supposedly a, a trained chef, and when she throws things in oil, she backs away. Like you ain't no, you you, you put your hands in that oil she can't even, right you, now. You shouldn't madam. be able to feel anything yeah. anymore. <laughs> you're dead inside and out now. You've been working them night shifts, girl. You speak so from the heart? I speak from the lack of heart. <laughs> so we did go see this in theaters. Brand new. Just came out on Friday. Uh, before we get into the movie, we'd get into just a little bit of what we saw beforehand. So we oh, had the yeah. trailers going. And the trailers... A so couple stinkers, a couple the, winners. The first one, we've seen the trailer a few times because it's coming out really soon. So Haunting in Venice. Yeah. yeah. And this is the third... Of a franchise, or am I wrong about this? I don't know. This? I don't. I thought it had something to do them. with the haunting. Oh, like the haunting in Connecticut. I thought it stuff? was the murder on Orient Express. Is that? Oh, not is Kenneth, it part of that? Is it not Kenneth Bramall doing that as well? It could be. Oh, you know what? That's right. Because he's. I never watched any of those. No, Neither I haven't either. Her, Hercule, Hercule Poirot, or whatever they say his name is, that yeah. is definitely the guy from Murder on the Orient Express. So yes. Okay, I just recognized I didn't that mustache. That. Oh, okay. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Okay, I because just I don't watch. Lineup. I didn't watch any of those. So but now we have homework to do because spoiler. I do want to see this 
movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I it looked fucking awesome. Um, you got Beth what's, from what's Beth from Yellowstone. Yellowstone. What's uh, uh, d- delightful from uh, Tina Fey? No, Crouching Tiger. Oh, uh, Michelle. Michelle Yao. Michelle Yao. And looking great too. Yeah, Michelle Yao. Tina Fey. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know Beth's name. Beth. Yeah, I don't either. I'm sorry. Hey, Beth. you know what? Make something besides Yellowstone. I'll remember you. <laughs> she did. She, she made did this movie. movie. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it looks. Pretty good. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan. I was telling her when we were leaving, and knowing that it's part of that, what she said makes more sense. I was like, new horror movies just always. I always leave disappointed. So and she's like, I don't think it's a horror. horror. Yeah, yeah. It's she, she said murder mystery, and I was like, eh, but it's got like yeah, it's ghosts more and suspense. shit. But like, yeah, and then like you said, Tina Fey's in it, and she's like, hey, find the uh, find the con that I can. Yeah, you know, I know it's fake. So you figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. It looks good. I mean, I think I think it's uh, gonna be worth going to the theater for. Plain yeah, and simple. It, the popcorn. trailer. The yeah, trailer does have that. This time. <laughs> I know that popcorn was I have, burnt. I have never not finished a large bucket of popcorn in my <laughs> life. The trailer does have that feel of like the Murder on the Orient Express kind of thing. So I guess that makes sense. I didn't. I've never even made that connection. Yeah. So I'm glad you did. Hey, that's what I'm here for, man. I'm, I got a, a whole thing of red yarn in my house and a, a dry erase board. And <laughs> I'm going to town, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Cork board, dry erase board, red yarn. Just a bunch what? of pictures of Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. Including oh. him with the uh, spider legs from uh, Wild Wild West. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, ooh, I know his name. Loveless. Arliss <laughs> Loveless. I do. Shouldn't. Well, armless, loveless? Arless. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's legless, arless. But yeah. <laughs> it is legless. Yeah. That's why I was confused. <laughs> armless, so, legless. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one was for Ferrari, the new Michael Mann movie. Can I just say best fucking trailer ever? <laughs> um, Dude, all right. So maybe not best, but there is no talking. There's no dialogue None. for the entire trailer until the very end. And he says, you get in my car, one of my cars. You get in to win. Yeah. yeah. And it's Adam Driver who took me a second. At first, I thought that looks like a uh, 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 thin down Tom Hardy, maybe. Yeah, a little but bit. But it's a bleach bomb the nose. on Adam Driver with the nose. It was like gray. Wasn't yeah, it? it was like white hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. So bleach and then, gray. <laughs> and then, like, she, she, yeah, she was, said the same thing. She's like, "Is that Adam? Is that Driver?" And but I recognized him right away because of the schnoz. Yeah, but it, but I don't know, man. It just it wasn't as um, upfront. Yeah. But it was a faraway shot. But I it's, thought that movie looks really cool. Yes. I love Michael Mann mostly. I like Adam Driver mostly. Yeah. So I think it looks Penelope cool. Cruz, Penelope I, Cruz. I, less, I, I like haven't less. seen much of her recent. Like I mean, last thing I saw her do was with Tom Cruise. Last thing I saw her do was was the not blow the movie blow. <laughs> I, was about to say, I, I was trying to think of how to say that. I was like, last thing I saw her do was blow. He's Wait, a fucking I didn't drug see dealer. It. I mean, I would do blow with her. <laughs> I'm sure we I'd saw take a her. Bump off the butt. I'm sure we've seen her in other things since Blow. That was like '98. Yeah. That's about when I stopped. <laughs> I got off the, the Penelope Cruz. If she's, like if she's not there with Pee Wee Herman, I'm not here to watch it. <laughs> yeah. uh, then we had uh, the ex- Expend for Bulls. <laughs> Oof, God, this is poop water. This is dirty. I'm probably going to watch it, but... <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to watch it. That's not the question. It's going to be awful. You, We've talked about it before. You get this opening teaser of... Uh, Meg, Megan, uh, almost Megan said, Fox. I almost said Meg Ryan. Holy I know, shit! I saw that. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, Megan Fox and Jason Statham fuck fighting. Yep, it's a whole trailer of their fuck fight. And then the trailer starts. And then, like, Steven... Or, <laughs> just crazy. <laughs> Steven Seagal. We, we, where are we? All right, so Steven Seagal and Meg Ryan are making expandables. <laughs> so Stallone... Sylvester Stallone knocks on the door and the trailer starts. By the way, that face... Uh, the doorbell or the uh, the door peepholes are not doing him favors. No, nope. <laughs> sorry, Sly. You we need, we to, don't need to see that in fish. Yeah, eye. you might you might want to wear just wear a mask or you know what? Text. I'm coming over. Open your door. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at me. I mean, it looks action packed and exciting ish. And but... we'll watch it for that. But as someone that hasn't seen the other yeah, Expendables, any of them. has not seen. I've seen. I want to say I've seen the first one. Okay. Possibly, I watched it with my parents. There's something to take from the first one. Then it gets just progressively worse, and I don't think that trend's gonna stop. Just, I mean, also, why the fuck? This what year is that movie coming out? Twenty twenty three, right? Yeah. And what song is scored to it? I don't even remember. Can't stop the feeling when I need you. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers are just just pooping all over this movie. Wow. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. Like, is that just Sly Stone's pinnacle of rock and roll? Probably. I think it might be. The That's just what he wants to hear. Out, this is where I stay. <laughs> I'm good here. I'll stay. God's a dealer. The <laughs> 90s? Yeah, no more hits. The 90s was only 10 years ago. That was t- in the 2000s. 
Yeah, wait. Early 2000s. Yeah, because that was Stadium Arcadium. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I was or working. Californication. Californication. Okay. I swear we were still in high school. I was in high school up until 2020. Yeah. <laughs> 19. I just I'm graduated. I'm still in high school. I see that. Yeah. They don't pay me, but I pick up the trash there. <laughs> I still just hang out at the high school. Do you take the trash out? I give pep talks to the other football players. I'm like, hey, follow me for more life advice. You too can come back to the high school you graduated from. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go back to my high school. <laughs> you only live behind it. Yeah, I try to block it out <laughs> with trees. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll watch it. I haven't watched the other ones, but I'm gonna. I'll watch it with so. you twos. I mean, you know, yeah, we, we kind of have to, right? Well, yeah, I think we do. Yeah, I think we have name. to. Um, but it looks stupid. Yes, it does. There was that cool part with the plane, and it's like dropping all those bombs, and that looked pretty cool. I mean, that's it, about it, it though. If they're <laughs> doing practical effects, there'll be a lot of explosions. If they're doing CGI effects, there's going to be a lot of explosions. Did I see Andy Garcia in that yes, trailer? Yes, you did. Okay. There was so they started the first one one night. She had gone to bed. I was like, I'll watch this. That doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> because it's one of those ones where it's like, hey guys, we're having a conversation. Kaboom! Kaboom! Yeah. So the dialogue of, is blowies upsies. But yeah. within the first ten minutes, I watched. I definitely saw like three CG explosions. And I was like, come on, guys. And so like, we're, we're expecting fire. more now. <laughs> uh, then it was Killers of the Flower Moon, which is a three and a half hour long epic. I Martin definitely want to see this beautiful. I really want to see it. it. I don't know if my butt can take it. <laughs> yeah. Three and a half hours, a lot of cheek time. Three and a so half hours plus twenty six minutes of trailers means we should get intermission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like. You used to do it in longer movies. You go stand off to the side so you're still watching, but you're letting your seat cool off and you're stretching out your gluteus max. Oh, that's like it's a pro gamer move right there. Yeah, yeah. just stand yeah. in the entryway where oh, you're yeah. not blocking anybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what we'll have to do. But, but that, that one looks exciting. I to check out the trailer. We don't can't talk about the whole thing because it's almost as long as this movie. Yeah. But yes. The, tra- the trailers. The trailer was like forty minutes. The, the oil rush. Um, the Native Americans on that land. Based on a true story. And the white people uh, that are Martin trying to murder Scorsese, them. Uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah. Leo DiCaprio. Oh. When, when the trailer first started, the first time I saw it, I saw Leonardo DiCaprio and I saw Robert De Niro and I was like, oh, Martin Scorsese made a new movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you called that one. I definitely want to take Amber to that one, too. Yeah. Yeah, I, my favorite line of the trailer is right at the beginning. He's like, I love that color of skin. What do you call it? And she's like, my color. Mine, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and De Niro's a villain at one point. He's like, do you think some like miracle's going to happen? You know better than that. Those don't happen anymore. Like, he's going to be a great fucking villain, man. Yeah. Spoiler definitely. for the movie, capitalism wins. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that goes, but I know how it goes. I know it went in real and then life. you get a surprise visit from Todd. Oh, yeah, Todd from Breaking Bad. I can never remember this dude's name. But as he's soon as he, as, anytime he shows Damon. up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's little bitty dames. Yes. Anytime he shows up in a movie, we're both just like, it's Todd. Because he's the one who fucked up. The entire story of Breaking Bad, not the story like in a bad way, like in the story, he fucked up. He the showed plan. up and everything just went to the shit. shit. <laughs> and after that was the Napoleon one. I didn't catch who was directing it. It's Joaquin <sighs> Phoenix. I mean, Joaquin it, Phoenix, possibly Ridley Scott. Yes, Ridley Scott. <laughs> it might as well be. I think it was. It was. It I was. was. Say, it might as well be Gladiator again. He's even wearing the little crown. That's dude. As I'm watching, I'm like, <laughs> he's done that before. <laughs> I don't know. I think it, at moments it looks okay, and then at other moments I'm like, nah. Uh-huh. I've, I've seen I, this one before. It's a rerun. What's a rerun? <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't see it in theaters. No. No fucking chance. <laughs> no chance. I'll rent it. We'll give it a go. Yeah. I like Joaquin Phoenix. Mm-hmm. And I like that scene where the, the, the woman that's there, who I, I can't remember who it was. I didn't recognize basically her just at telling all. Him, I, I thought I did, but she's basically just telling him, like, you're nothing without you're me. You're nothing without me. You're a piece of shit. And I'm like, oh, that's where the Napoleon complex comes from. It's not because he's short. It's because he had a mean girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love those. <laughs> Sign me up a couple times. You don't have a Napoleon syndrome. Oh, I know, but I kind of want to. I think you're a little tall for that. I know. That's What's, what's the reverse of height envy? <laughs> I wish I didn't have to duck. I wish it was a little bit smaller. I wish I wasn't a baller. <laughs> I wish, I wish I didn't I no have a girl. <laughs> I would not call her. I want no rabbit, no hat, no bat. And, and you know what? I do want the six, six form baller. Four I do want yes. that. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, get those three, head, those three taillights. <laughs> We're at the movie. Oh, we yeah, made it all the way. Movie, yeah. See, we forgot right now, just like I forget when I'm in the theater and we have 30 minutes of fucking trailers. Uh-huh. And then the movie starts. I'm like, what the fuck am I here for? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Obviously, I do that. <laughs> you didn't know before the trailers. 100%. <laughs> I heard the guy at the box office telling some lady 
that there was 26 minutes of trailers. So that's how I know Yikes. there's 26 minutes. Because she was trying to go see one movie and then go to another movie. And she's like, how's it going to work? And he's like, well, that one starts at 7.05 and you got 26 minutes of trailers. So it doesn't really start until 7.30. Oh, so it, it helped her out. It, was, yeah. it benefited her. So Excellent. you can jump out of that theater and go to that theater. Do you so. think that's why they do that now? No. No. They do Capitalism. A, capitalism. <laughs> All right. Capital. With a big Ism. fucking C. Just ISM, really big. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie starts, and it basically is, it's the reverse of your no- normal like college or high school sex comedy, it right? It starts yeah. with them. They say they're juniors, right? It's a, it's a boob comedy without boobs, and I, I'm glad because Thankfully. high school. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought... I uh, mean, there was, there was covered boobs. Josie... I mm-hmm. thought that she said she was going to Sarah Lawrence next year, so I thought that she was a senior. Oh, so maybe yeah. it is. The, oh, that is their senior year because yeah, she was like, we're not college. juniors anymore. Like and the, it when the principal with... tells them, uh, when you go munch carpet at Wesleyan, <laughs> yeah. get the fuck out of my hair. Because <laughs> this principal is a winner. This principal is one of only two authority figures, and I, I use the term authority very loosely in this. <laughs> well, well, this world is also not our world no it is not <laughs> it is wild yeah when i first saw this trailer i was like oh they're not gonna get away with this like someone, yeah. someone's gonna complain so and they, then we're watching the movie and i'm like oh this, this is a cartoon movie so the idea is really <laughs> that it's a lesbian underground fight club in high school yes for less than popular girls yes, yes. and yeah you're like no there's no fucking way that works but in this world it's okay it is to beat the shit out of people <laughs> on campus and who <laughs> Who's one of the best teachers and the only teacher that we fucking see? Marshawn Lynch is the only teacher we see. And uh, again, his his comedy chops are good. They're on point. Also, the only male character in this movie that was not a complete piece of shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Even though he, he walked that line every now and then. Yeah, yeah but he's, just, spite, he was he's just mad. Yeah, he's, he's mad. Hurt, he's getting you know? a divorce. He's getting a divorce. He says it at one point, man. Hey, males need therapy. Yes, they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's he's got some good comedy chops. We saw him in uh, uh, Murder of Murderville, where he's holding his own with Will with Arnett, Arnett improv so that's great to see that he's he's in a movie doing comedy. So the, the two girls we discussed are the leads, and they get to the they go to this fair. They're talking about how they want to get fucked, basically. But they're, 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 they're fucking this year. It's their summer. It's the summer of George for these high school lesbians. And yes. they get to this fair, and they meet the other kind of the third main character, Hazel, who's played I by Ruby loved Cruz. Hazel. You recognize her at all? I don't think you guys no. finished the uh, Willow series on Disney. Didn't no, even never start got it. to watch it's it before. Not they her took it off. fault that that series sucks. Is all I'll say. They like, took it off fine. already. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you. It was one. It was one of those victims of like it's never it doesn't exist on the yep. in the world anymore they're trying to eternal sunshine all of us why yeah, yeah. i don't understand it like i understand like if people aren't watching it a lot it's not popular or whatever it costs you literally zero dollars to keep it on the i am here give to tell you though that like they're, they're no they're doing you a favor oh i don't want to get behind media taking away media but they're doing us a favor with this one well like they but it came out in january it finished in january and it was gone by like may yeah well oh that sucks. Because that was, was when they, they pulled a bunch of okay. shit. But yeah. they go to this fair, and they, she's asking him what they were doing over the summer. And they're like, sh- they're, she's not letting them talk, right? Mm-hmm. And I loved this part because she's like, Wait, did you guys do this? Did you do that? Oh, my God. Did you go to juvie? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, yeah, yeah. We went to fucking juvie. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Dude, and she then- had the <laughs> roll of fucking tickets on her. And it, 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 we figure out that she's a rich girl. Yeah. But at first, I'm like, oh, did she steal those? How did she? No, nope. she bought them. You Mom bought, bought them. Yeah, Mama bought them. But, like, this moment is literally the inciting event for basically the whole movie. Uh It's like, we went to juvie, sure. Uh And then that's the lie that spins out of control. Um, I do love we meet Jeff at the fair also. The football players (laughs) in this movie are great. Now, talk about doing such a good job that I don't like you. Yeah. That's Jeff, and I forget the other, his number two. I I don't remember his first name. I want to say Tom or John. Tom? But his last name was Funk. Yeah, P H U N C K. Because that's what's on the back of his jersey, jersey, and Jeff's on the back of his jersey. So the school has no rules. Yeah, both of the guys in this are are well. There's more than them too, but these two are are excellent at being just hated. Well, these are the two basically speaking football players. I think Uh they were secretly gay for each other. I don't think it's that secret. I think that's the implication of most of this movie is like everything is everything is hypersexualized. Yeah, to the point like uh, Hazel has a. Uh, cotton candy that looks like a dick and balls. Yeah. <laughs> or is you that know? just Freudian of us? Uh, a little bit of both. Maybe. I mean, it could be a bong, but I think it's supposed to be a dick and balls because it's also pink. Either way, I'm hungry. <laughs> you put it in your mouth? Either way, it's going in my mouth. Yes. Um, I do love, though, when we meet Jeff and all these girls are like, all these people are screaming for him and stuff because he is like, 
the celebrity of this town. Which oh, yeah. We've seen a bunch of times, and this is the extreme version of that. Think of somebody uh, screams, Come sign my tits. Yeah. And he's like kissing on his girlfriend. He's like, I'll be right back. Yeah, he, he like pushes away. her away. And he's like, I, I got, I, I'll, I'll be right this back. This is like a fictional <laughs> Texas town where fo- high school football rules everything. Varsity Blues, You're right. like, Daisy Confused, Friday Night like, Lights. Friday Night Lights, any of those, except for it's just a little bit more extreme. San Diego's football rules. <laughs> San Diego's <laughs> football rules. We oh, also, Doyle rules. We also know. do nib high football rules. Yeah. It's two different movies. Same joke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this guy is cock of the walk and he's signing tees. I'm surprised he didn't have a scene with whipped cream. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't it's do too that on anymore. the nose. It's too late. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're doing a spoof movie. And even though this is Younger bordering Jim- on some of this it, is it's satirical as can be. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's. But those kids don't know. Nah. This, this is a great high school movie that doesn't go. Doesn't make you feel too too bad for the people that it's telling you had a bad high school experience. Okay, yeah. It, it shows you it's rough, but doesn't, it's not the worst it could be. I mean, like how rough does it get though? You no, know, it could get. It could get <laughs> well, they get rough on their own. Oh my god, I love it. A woman covered in blood is just awesome. <laughs> She's not wrong. And we also have the two girls that they're trying to hook up with. So okay. there's Ooh. Isabel, who is um, beautiful Jeff's girlfriend. Yeah. And then Brittany, who is Isabel's. Uh, one of those fish Entourage. called that hang on the bottom of a whale. Uh, Plasectomus? <laughs> uh, whatever I they're called. I think it's a plasectomus. She, she even makes a comment about it when they show up at the yeah, fight club. And oh, she that's calls one of it those out. Spoof yeah. things because they show up to the fight club later. Yeah, and she's just like. My um, identity. Yeah, my identity is tied to her, so I'm just here for this. I, I go where she goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad they did that. She This this one could be a Kardashian. She's gorgeous, too. Yeah. So they're, they're both. Isabel is Havana Rose Lou and. Brittany is Kaya Gerber. Yep. I don't know either of these people, but I'm going to make sure they get there. I've seen Kaya Gerber in things. It's mainly like YA shows. And yeah, she makes, watches a lot of YA I was say, shows. It makes sense because I haven't, I haven't seen there's a lot of people in this I haven't seen. I, not I'm recognize. not older than 18 in my head. I'm really 25 in my head. Well, you know. Keep it up, girl. I will say, it's like, I think it's a good thing that, uh, so Elizabeth Banks produced this movie. Yeah. And it says right on it, the people who brought you Pitch Perfect and Cocaine Bear, which is her. And I'm glad that she's doing stuff because, like, she's a fine actress. Like, she's good. She was in Scrubs, which both you and I have watched yeah. a trillion times. She's Rita Repulsa. <laughs> yeah, yes, she is. <laughs> she did Cocaine Bear earlier this year. But, like, she's doing movies just because she's like, yeah, that seems cool. Like, Cocaine Bear. She directed that one. But she's like, able to do what she wants at this yeah, point. She's, she's like, got that a seems bit of cool. And that's what leash. this one is. Bottoms, yeah. I feel like, is, like, uh, the this girl, PJ... The main actress, she wrote this script with the director, and like, I feel like they went to her and they were, she's like, Yeah, whatever, man, fuck it. It sounds weird. Yeah. So I'm glad she's I doing would love to stuff. hear the elevator pitch for this movie. Like, it would be a solid little three minute. Hear me out. I'm listening, <laughs> we got, girl. We got high, school, high schoolers. This high school's fucked all over the world. There's okay, these lesbians that just want to fuck. Lesbians, they've, lesbians? They've never done it and they want it done. Okay. And now we're going to start like a little fight club to try and get close to them. Maybe so you're like, saying like a lesbian fight club? Yes. In high school? In high school. Give this woman some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it went. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, you've got, it's, it's, it's modern in the sense of like, they have lesbian characters and stuff without it being like weird, other than the fact that this town seems to have a problem with it, but it becomes part of the joke. Yes. Like it's the small town experience. Like when they get called after this whole thing with Jeff, where like Isabel gets in the car and they go to drive away and they just <laughs> tap his knees. Oh my gosh. And he's like, acts like he's been crippled. Every football player comes running down. Did you notice? <laughs> running in. Because the second in command's like, block that car, block that car. So they're jumping on the cars. These are his linemen that are blocking cars. It's Is fucking that what? Funny. Yeah. I was like, were, I why they are were... they just jumping on the car? No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure Funk, <laughs> who's number two on his yes. jersey, by the way, yeah. just to let you know. Oh, that, that joke happens multiple times, yeah, too. Yeah, Jeff's number one. This guy's <laughs> number two. Get it straight, guys. But yeah, he's calling him out. He's like, there, there, block that, block okay, that. I didn't catch that. I thought they were just like trying to slide over the hoods and look cool. <laughs> I thought they no, were pretending no. to be hit by cars I mean, as unless well. I missed my mark, I'm pretty sure I call. I, that I makes more sense. Calling it yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's terrific. That's I, why I, there's three of us. And, <laughs> and uh, they're trying like, uh, PJ is telling uh, Josie, hey, tell her, to ask if she needs a ride. This is your chance, man. It's like, do you need a safety ride? Come and over this here. This chick bolts. By the way, offer girls safety rides more. Like, yeah. yes. If you yeah. see a guy and a girl fighting, just, you know, hang out for a little uh, bit. But be, do be us a right. favor and don't use that safety ride because you're trying to bang her. Yeah. Yes. That's not a safety ride. It's not a safety ride. <laughs> no, it's not. Don't be that guy or girl. <laughs> don't be that person. 
But yeah, so they the next day when they're at school and they get the uh, the announcement because like Jeff is crippled. Oh, and everyone's, this, this, everyone's staring them down in the hallway, glaring the at the biggest them. game ever is coming up. Apparently, they only have this homecoming in, every like fifteen years or something. Yeah, one month, twenty. Uh, and 20 years in the making is what the sign said. Okay, because, yeah, because she said, yes, because the lady they talked to later 90s. said 03 was the last one. So, uh-huh. yeah, I forget it's 2023 sometimes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the 90s was only 10 years ago. <laughs> but, like, this is, like, the game. And they're like, you you heard our main football player, whatever. So the, when the principal calls him, he's like, can the – and this is parts in the trailer, so you'll see it if you watch it, which yeah. I recommend watching it. But it sets a good tone. Can, can the – Ugly, un- or the ugly, untalented gays come to the office, please. And then Brittany's like, I guess that's you guys. Yeah. Like, walks away. <laughs> by the way, they're both cheerleaders. I, 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 didn't, I wasn't paying much attention, I guess, but I didn't notice till the very last scene that they were cheerleaders. I, they don't really show. They, the only time they have the cheerleaders is during the, the pep the rally. Pep rally. Yeah, okay. And all they do is pour water on that. <laughs> I, I loved it because it's like, all right, so find the hot chick, football. pour water on her white shirt, and everybody else just goes, football. <laughs> it's so it drips with satire <laughs> well, loved it and it's i mean i don't know how much you guys remember pep rallies and i don't you guys are just a couple of years older i don't know how <laughs> it was for you but like the dances the cheerleaders were doing are not the cheers you see in like bring no. it on where they're no, just dancing no, no, and doing no, like no. cheers they were basically just strippers that didn't take off their clothes i mean <laughs> it wasn't as strippery there was definitely like more pep at least at my high school we weren't such hoes um. <laughs> I went. I went to a high school that was full of hoes. We all went to different <laughs> high schools, by the way. <laughs> but I mean, for me, it was like it they was did these very sexual did. dances, it and was... then in between, they're like, "Yay, football!" And yeah. You're like, I mean, like what? our our principal wasn't very much into the gyrating part, but it was. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he was. Ours was definitely more like bring it on. Yeah. Like my. Oh, it's already been brought in. It's already been brought been in. Brought in on. <laughs> Um, there was a point when they're in the Marsh. So Marshawn Lynch is their teacher of question mark class. Yeah. Yep, he, sure. he does keep changing it. Cause at one point, my favorite, one of my favorite lines from him in this entire movie, he's got great shit on his chalkboard. When he starts yes, the he class, which isn't a class. It's just people fucking around. Uh huh. The first class is like what? Three minutes long. And the girl, and the girl even comments on it. But then the next class, he's like, yo, listen up. The Holocaust happened. And then some kid raises his hand. He's like, no, it did. It did. <laughs> Here's and how. He's, and then he's like, go for it. Like, whatever. And then they all just fuck around. They all yeah. just talk. He's got candy on his desk. There's, I know at one scene, there was Hangman on the chalkboard. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, and. <laughs> this movie's putting the education system on blast a little bit. It should. <laughs> at one point, I, I think I said it to Jack. There was a sign in the cafeteria. You are what like, you eat. You are what you eat. And it had a piece of poop. I saw that. I saw the turf. <laughs> Somebody's having some good fun uh, sign work. I wonder Ooh. if it's Kiker. Where was Kiker rules? <laughs> I know. We did, you know what? I didn't look at the art direction. They don't let the him credit, sign so. his work anymore. Like, hey, you know what? It's a little racy. We I know it's not car. you. <laughs> <laughs> but this teacher fits in with the principal because the principal doing the announcements when I don't have any <laughs> quote, direct quotes. But no like, idea who When this he's guy up is, there, the he's just like, he, the first opening announcement, he's like, so let's fuck up Huntington or whatever the other team's called. <laughs> like, when I heard his voice, I was hoping I knew who he was. It cuts to him. No, I, not even like a little glimpse of I know him from. It's a guy named Wayne Pear. Yeah. But I don't I don't know. He was hilarious. Yeah. He's a fucking dick <laughs> in yeah. this movie, but he's hilarious. There was one line from the the, the big girl. Hold on. I've got my, oh, I've got my IMDb up because I don't have her. I don't even I barely I, remember the main two's names. I don't. I know Josie and PJ. That's what I think I got it was. This. I think it was this girl. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna say because I don't want to say it wrong. I think it was Annie was the character, but I don't want to give the wrong. Oh, I clicked on something. Yeah. I don't want to give the wrong actor credit. I think everybody that's that's cast in this movie is doing a phenomenal job. We talked about the two male football leads, but we didn't talk about the supporting cast of female yeah. Fight Club members. The the one that has the braces that won't finger quote. Well, I don't have to say finger quote. Oh. I can do it. Uh, the one that won't <laughs> quit huffing paint. Like yeah. she's she, awesome. She's never gonna quit, dude. She is the best. And kudos to this golf clap for this girl for just showing her acting balls. Like yeah. she gets it when she's yelling, "Slay queen!" Yes. <laughs> oh my god! And yeah, her stepdad. She was terrific. Fuck her stepdad. stepdad. <laughs> yeah. 
And the 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 one I was gonna say though the the bigger girl which I think is Annie she's like the Christian girl uh-huh. yes very oh, yeah. Christian who ends up flashing them during the which I have to give them credit thank you for keeping the screen right here and yeah, not there was actually like, showing there was a bunch of people there was moms titties. and stuff flashing yeah. it's too, a high and school they didn't movie show any of that. Yeah. And, and they know it keep it in there and I'm dude. pretty sure it's still rated R oh it, so, it, no it was rated yeah, R and, so I mean blood was good yeah. But the girl was says, fantastic. one of the girls, one of the main girls is talking to her about something and she's like, your vagina belongs to so-and-so. And she's like, no, my vagina belongs to the, the government. government, which I just, I was fucking rolling. Dude. And then I was later like, we what find out, mean? well, we find out later, uh, um, one of the leads, I do not remember which one says, you're one of the smartest people I know, even though you are a black Republican. Yeah. And it was so, it was Josie. Who and said so it. that's why her vagina belongs to the government, sir. Yeah. <laughs> that was, she voted that fantastic. shit in. <laughs> and when the girls are setting up the fight club, they're all in like the bleachers and while the guys are doing football practice. And in the background of, like, I was watching the background for half this movie after this scene because there's so much stuff going on. Josie comes or uh, Jeff comes walking out with his <laughs> crutches and then he just picks them up and throws them like, oh, I'm fine And you now. hear back from the dead. And then <laughs> they cut away to the girls for a minute. And when they cut back in the background, the mascot is laying on the ground rolling around and there's a guy trying to help him up and the football players are all just walking away laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well then. So I'm assuming they just beat the shit out of the mascot. This is, uh, I definitely want to see it again yeah. and just pay a grand attention yeah, I don't to the I want to jump too far scenes. ahead, but... It doesn't matter. We're not really going step by step. Yeah. I'm just. I, there's a couple things I took notes of that I thought was funny. Yeah. The end. I, I do love the ending, which we're not going to spoil it. Yeah. But the ending is a is is. It's on the scale of Braveheart. Yes. In, oh, in especially form with of the... epicness. Oh. I, was, I was thinking, and you haven't seen it yet, but I was thinking about Barbie while the ending was happening. Yes. It's, it's there's. I mean, without a spoiler, there is a fight. Yeah. And it's funny. They, they, <laughs> beat, I, they beat each other off. Are you gonna cut? They beat off. You can cut it out with a sword. Oh yeah. Oh. No, I think, that's, I think that's plenty fine. Just I'm just gonna the say sword. the sword. Yeah. sword. <laughs> yeah. Full stop. Um, <laughs> yes. so they start their little fight club, which is supposed to be. So they tell the principal it's a self defense club for girls. First, no, they say it's a period club. <laughs> no, no. They're, well, they, that's when they're talking to Marshawn Lynch. When they're talking to the principal, oh, they're yeah. saying it's a self defense club because Huntington apparently like attacks people before this game. This, it was in the first announcement. Yeah, so there's this like this girl. Is wild. Yes. There's this girl who's saying that like some Huntington player pinned her down and was threatening her and stuff so they're like yeah no we're just starting a self-defense club for girls and that's why jeff jeff just happened to get in the way or whatever so they go to the self-defense club oh boy. Boy. <laughs> that was fun How'd that baby taste? boy's okay <laughs> tastes a lot like this ipa uh they go to the self-defense all right, club all right all right <laughs> oh, it's, a triple. Matthew McConaughey. it's a triple ride oh, it so. is a triple ride <laughs> it is a triple all right all right all right, all right. All right. Oh, man. how has nobody made that beer yet they didn't Cheers meet me <laughs> Send me your scripts. Send me your beer names. I punch things up. Ask my mama. <laughs> Don't. <God. laughs> but during the the thing, they're talking about like their story about them being in juvie, quote unquote. Yeah. And Josie goes into the. And J- oh uh, my goodness. PJ is telling Josie like, tell the story, tell the story. So doesn't PJ at one point do a blood sport reference? Because she's like, I was fighting and I, I couldn't see because he threw something <laughs> yep. in my face and just yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's all I thought. I, about took, blood I took it from blood sport. Yeah. And Josie was like she's like tell a story tell your story and she's like uh no no i'm good because josie's not in on it right right no and she, so josie tells up with this story about how some girl like came at her so she had to punch her and she's like so i punched her until she was dead <gasps> you you <laughs> killed kill somebody <laughs> well, no, well the emts came and they brought her back and then we had a really long talk about our feelings dude it was fucking hilarious because she's just like i don't know i killed a woman <laughs> like i said dude hated my heart when i went in and more than more than a dozen Good, good laughs at this yeah. fucking movie. Yeah, I was, I was rolling. Like I thought it would be pretty funny. I thought I would enjoy it, but I didn't realize how funny it was going to be for me, at least. Yeah, you know, I was laughing. I definitely forgot that I was in a movie theater when I was watching this, and there was a few times <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, really but that's loud. good, right? That takes <laughs> fine. In a movie like this, that's fine. Like, yeah. when I go to see a comedy, if people are like, "Oh shit," or like laughing really hard or do what, that's fine. But it's if when I was people at start having a whole conversation, and I'm just like, <laughs> if you were at Oppenheimer. <laughs> And he found oh, and his, wife, his wife found out he was cheating on him, and you're like, "Oh shit, it's inappropriate." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or if like you know when the bomb goes off, you go, "Oh, that's gonna hurt." Like, yeah, calm, calm down, Whitney. That'll burn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I do love this. So they have to get a, a faculty advisor. So that's why we, they go to Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Also, because he's apparently the only teacher in this school. <laughs> right. But I love it because he's ta- He's like, oh, you guys are like the best students in my class or whatever at the beginning. I think it's what he's saying. And then he's like, or no, you, at least you showed up to class is what he says. <laughs> we yeah. had to. Unlike, we had to. <laughs> unlike Dimitri so-and-so who came the first week and never came back. And these girls are like. Dimitri committed suicide in the first week of school, and he's like, "Did he though?" Sure, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Dude, that shit. I was, dude. Yeah. Marshawn Lynch was funny, and you know what? I do remember the episode of Murderville you're talking about. She made me watch a couple. That's the only one I thought was funny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I thought, thought two Camille, or three. I watched. Camille Nadjadi was my favorite. He didn't see that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, I only watched, watched that a couple. before you judged. What was too the one harshly. I watched? Conan. Conan. I was Conan. like, that's not funny. Uh, well, when he made him eat the hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that one. But uh, yeah, no, I I couldn't be more pleased with this movie. And I'm definitely gonna be buying this when it's out on. 4K. Same <laughs> I So, skip ahead. There's a point where they find out where Isabel finds out that Jeff is cheating on her, oh. which we've known from the beginning, right? <laughs> so they're this like... This should have been the whipped cream scene in <laughs> Whitney's mind, which you're not wrong. Yeah, but I, I love what they replaced it with. I love this. The What's the song? Turn around. So oh, that's, that's actually the cheating. That's when they're doing the I was talking about the actual like cheating. Oh. It's Hazel... Oh, Hazel's Hazel walks mom. into her house and he's fucking her mom. He's wearing his football pads on his shoulders, <laughs> a, a red, red thong, a red jo- <laughs> and then he's got like a measuring cup full of cookie crisp. Yeah, and he's asking for a snack. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't mention that the football players are dressed in full football gear, including cleats. Including the cleats. entire movie. As somebody that played football in high school, you don't wear your pads all day. <laughs> no. no you just don't. Game day it you wear chafes. a suit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get, don't know. That's what they made them do at my high school. Oh, we wore our jerseys. Oh, was, game yeah, day, game our, day, they made them wear a suit all day. Our school is oh, you man. wore your jerseys. Fancy motherfucker. <laughs> you Santa know Rita. Went to? <laughs> he went to fucking Santa Rita. That's the school your guys' schools got their drugs from. <laughs> <laughs> and we sold them to Sabino. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just I love that because it's just why is she? She's fucking a kid. I guess at one point they mentioned he's legal. Midlife, legal, so midlife he's crisis. And she's yeah. Hazel midlife does crisis. say she's in a midlife crisis and yeah. yada yada. Hey, yada. you know what? I'm just happy it's an older lady sleeping with a younger man. <laughs> yeah, no, normally other way other around. Way around. This and is refreshing. Yeah, this isn't wild things. Yeah, <laughs> or any other Hollywood thing. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to Jeff's house afterward. All the girls go, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna like." Let's go kick his ass or something like that. And they're like, no, let's just throw eggs and like toilet TPM paper. A little. Hazel does say, let's bomb it. Yeah, let's 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 set a bomb. And they're like, yeah, Hazel, let's bomb. do terrorism. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and I love that like they're all they're all trying to vandalize this house and they're doing terrible. A couple of eggs hit the window. They do show the toilet paper just keeps rolling off. It the is tree, really hard which to is TV. how it happens. You Don't mention what song he's going to. I mean, I already did, but <laughs> they can't leave that you, for the, you can't for the TP audience. A house. It's not. It's hard to TP house anyway. This house is pretty big. Yeah. So they're just throwing TP at the tree and it's just bouncing off whatever. It is. But the, the reason I mentioned that the main reason is because they're sitting. Uh, Josie goes back to the car to sit with Isabel, who's on lookout, and she's like, "It's really nice that we're all just together doing this, <laughs> vandalizing Jeff's house." You For know, you. As, as a group. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I respond very well to people uh, defending me with violence and loud talking. I'm like, I love you. Would you like to come over? Yeah. Uh, characters are great. The actor, actresses are fucking awesome. In I their loved roles. it. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of gushing over it a little bit. A little here. bit. <laughs> and of course, without getting, well, we'll kind of s- slow down on stuff here because this is where we get towards like the middle of the second act. So yeah, it's more like, you, but there is wants like to go play by play. There on is I mean, like we've really the, just been all over this. There's place. the second act kind of like thing that always happens where everybody hates each other for a minute. Uh-huh. You know, there's always yeah. a music montage, and I couldn't stop laughing in my head <laughs> that it was complicated. Was the song <laughs> Avril Lavigne complicated? <laughs> because when it started, I was like, oh come on, no, this movie takes place in 2020. But as soon as it kicked into the chorus and it was right when it was showing all their relationships, I was like, oh, god damn it. This Somebody is so has good. a fucking sense of humor. And I it's loved everybody it. involved in this movie. I fucking loved yeah, it. And there, sure. there is a, a point with towards the end when they're like walking around the school being the cool girls. Uh, there's a poster on the wall that I have to mention. Oh. Because it's this, this oh, cartoon school. This. And the poster is this girl sitting there like smiling and it says... <laughs> 
uh, you're prettier when you smile. You never know if he could be watching. Yeah. <laughs> like, like what the fuck, man? And as like, soon as I saw so that, funny. I said this, this. Like I already, I already kind of knew, but I said this is a female writing this movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I, a guy would do that wrong. A guy would make fun of that. The, just the wrong a little, way. Just a little bit the wrong way. This nailed it. Being a female, I have been told I'm prettier when I smile, oh, and yeah. that makes me want to punch them in the face. Oh hey, yeah, where's my like, hug, sweetheart? Yeah, you, don't, you don't get one. <laughs> that's like there's a lot of sexist things people can say. The mo- one of the most sexist things is you should smile more. You're pretty yeah. when you smile. Shut the fuck. And up. then when I do smile, they're like, <laughs> "Give me them digits." And I'm just like, "Mary, <laughs> you want a safety ride home?" <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but I think from this point, I'll just let you guys go watch the movie. Yes, yeah. please I, go I, watch I'm, the movie. So I'm highly recommending this movie. This gets three thumbs up for me, which if you listen to our podcast, Bad Movies, Worst People, you'll understand that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I also <laughs> am giving it a huge, huge double thumbs up right there. <laughs> Two eight, thumbs, one toe. Eight out of ten, man. <laughs> yeah, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm, it right I'm going to recommend it. I think it's a good one to see in theaters. I think the ending was bonkers awesome didn't see it coming yeah <laughs> it was... didn't see it coming. You, you think this gets a little formulaic like you said oh we have to hate each other now there's going to be this thing this catalyst that brings you back together and there is but the, holy shit in the greatest um, way awesome and this yeah. is what we're talking about is why you see it's not in our world yeah it's yeah, well, that, that and the fact that the teachers, especially the principal, are just cussing and screaming at people. Yeah. And, oh, and somebody gets beat up or, like in earlier in the movie. Somebody gets the shit beat out of him in the gymnasium for a pep rally and <laughs> nary a teacher to blow the whistle. Oh, yeah, yes. That scene. That's, good. Oh, that's a good God. time. Yeah, yeah. That's an awesome <laughs> scene. But the whole time, like, blow your fucking whistle, somebody. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do show Marshawn Lynch and the principal during that scene, too. And Going, they're both oh. just kind of like, ooh. Oh, that looks rough. Somebody should stop this. <laughs> Man, is there an authority figure here? <laughs> it's like me. It's, I, when you're like, you're looking around, you're like, I need an adult. And then you realize you are the oh, adult. damn it. <laughs> People look to me now? <laughs> I know. 1993 was not 10 years ago. <laughs> so, yes, we're all recommending it. It's really funny. I had a great time. Remember to check out the podcast. We're available anywhere you get podcasts. Badmoviesworstpeople.com. You can go there and find the links to everything. Uh, share this, like it, subscribe. You can get all our future videos. You know, follow and like all that shit. Thank you to Evasion, who's the band that's providing our opening and closing music. That's going to be all for this episode. Yeah, yes, yeah I oh, did it right. Good, I good. You did it right this time. <laughs> I've been Derek. I'm still Whitney. I'm Jack. Uh, decompose, you fuckers. Reverse finger guns. <laughs> I wonder if you'll know that's from the movie. <laughs>